guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name's Anushka. Thank you for stopping by. Um, today we will be testing out some beauty hacks for this video and I'm actually quite excited because I've seen these beauty hacks videos everywhere and to be honest I'm not really good at beauty hacks so I thought I'll test the beauty hacks that I've seen so um, I think that'll be fun to watch. I've seen some people test them out as well so we'll see if they work and I'm actually going to put some effort into testing these. I'm not just going to be like, you know all over the place. I'm going to try and concentrate and do these hacks well. So yeah, if you want to see me test some beauty hacks, just keep on watching. So the first hack that I wanted to try is to use mascara as eyebrow gel. Um, to be honest, I've done it before when I ran out of eyebrow gel, but I used a really, really tiny like mascara. Today I'm going to just use a normal size mascara and maybe use the other one I used to use. See how it works, because it works okay. But I don't think it's that good at like keeping, I don't think it's long lasting like an IRL gel. I'm just like roughly filling my brows right now. I'm going to use my Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline on my right brow. The brush is kind of big though. So it's not really like precise, you can get it kind of everywhere, see like it's going everywhere. I mean, I would say like if you really wanted like those really clean like brows, it would be kind of messy to do with a big brush. I think it would be easier to do with like a small, those kind of small brushes and mascara. Like for example, here's my roller lash mascara. Roller lash mascara. Yeah. Um, and this has like a much thinner brush. So yeah, as you can see, it's like super thin, so you can easily manipulate where you want the product to be. So I'm just going to use this on this brow. I've been wanting to try some of these hacks for so long. Yeah, I feel like this one you get more precision and I prefer it actually than like a full size mascara brush. Oh gosh, this brow is disastrous. Okay, can we just please ignore that brow today? Okay, so definitely a thumbs up for the uh, mascara as brow gel. Um, I would maybe recommend like a smaller brush than a big one though. So the second one that I've seen, been seeing everywhere is using le red lipstick as corrector, like under the eyes and around the mouth area. So we're gonna try that. I mean, I don't know, like I'm gonna just go for like a bright red. So I'm just gonna use this red lipstick by Max Factor. I don't know, like I like to go for orange corrector, but I do believe in adjusting your corrector shade to your skin tone. So if you're like really pale, I really don't recommend like a bright orange corrector. I would recommend like a more like toned down peachy kind of orange. And um, I really believe in adjusting it because I've seen girls like having like orange come out under their foundation. You can tell that there's something there and you don't want that. Um, but we'll see how it works. I'm gonna put some concealer over it and foundation. We'll see if it's coming through. This is quite bright. So this is what I've been seeing on Instagram and YouTube, like that. Lipstick smells like this. Blend that in. I can't believe I have lipstick under my eyes right now. I'm gonna like nicely blend it in so it doesn't blend with the concealer foundation. I just have a feeling it's still gonna come through. Okay, I'm just gonna take my Milani foundation because I've just been using it non-stop lately. I'm just gonna try and push the product in. Let's try the beauty blender. Even though I'm passing this product in, and I really did try my best to like, it's like pink, it's just pink under my eyes. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. It's just pink, like I'm trying my best. My cat's such a baby, he always wants attention. So yeah, thumbs down for that one because I would not go out the door like this. It literally looks pink and I've seen girls like this outside. It's sad, because it's pink. Look at my face, I look like a tomato. Give me the makeup wipe, please. 
So another hack that I've seen is to use moisturiser and mix it with your dark foundation and what that will do is lighten your foundation. So I'm really excited to try this. So I'm going to use this one right here. Um, this is the shade 320 in the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I did a review on this and all of you said it was really dark for me and it was and then I went mix it with a lighter one. But I'm going to use this and mix it with moisturiser. Okay so this is how dark it is, like it's super dark. Like, that's no joke. So I want to do it on this side and see if it's going to work if I'm going to mix a bit of moisturiser with it. Ooh! Oh, wow. What the hell? That is, like, my shade right there. Look at that compared to that. That's like all over my cheek and it's just blending seamlessly. I would say though it does kind of remove the coverage a bit but that definitely, definitely works. So definitely a thumbs up for that one. Okay, so the next hack is to use a spoon and basically create like a cut crease with it. This is what I've seen people do. So I've got my fluffy eyeshadow brush here and my spoon. Oh. So you want to position it right, and we'll just, just feels so weird. Oh, I may have taken a dark colour. I have a feeling this is going to work, even though I can't see a thing right now. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. Let me try again actually, I feel like I didn't do it properly. I don't know if my spoon is dodgy, but I'm just not getting a nice, like, you know, line. Get, like, a good cut crease out of it. It's probably because I'm stupid. Oh, that one is... Oh, ow. That one is kind of nice, actually. That one is actually good. Yeah, I think it can actually really work. This one, just ignore this side, but that one is actually alright. It didn't do that bad, so definitely a thumbs up for that one. Just have to like position the spoon really well and stretch the skin out so it doesn't do like a wonky eye. So the next thing that I've seen is got to do with a lot of tape. Now I'm going to do the eyeliner thing first. So I've seen people do the eyeliner with tape. Okay, so basically one tape has to go like diagonal as if you were going to do eyeshadow the other one is just trying to like get your eyeliner shape why is this not working okay i hope this is going to work okay let me do one eye first because i really can't blink right now so i'm just gonna color in peel it off It's not bad actually. I mean, it's not the perfect ring liner, but it does give you like a, I don't know, like a outline to like where you should be putting the product and you can always like fix it up afterwards. Fill that in. My eyes watering. nice i mean i'm kind of surprised given the fact that i just randomly put tape on my eye and i couldn't see a thing and especially because i got contacts on it's making my eyes water but it's actually not that bad you can like just join the rigid lines up so i'm just gonna give this one a thumbs up because to me this is all right you know so the next hack is to use tape uh, for contouring i'm gonna position the tape under where my contour should be. I'm do like a triangle. Then I feel like my forehead. This one has been super popular because I think Huda Beauty like created it. 
Where else would I contour? My nose? How am I supposed to do my nose? Um, I'm gonna cut like tape in half, put that in the middle of my nose. Now I'm going to take the lighter colour in the palette and just highlight. I'm like confused about the nose. Now from the fun part. Oh, this looks so fun. Not too great if you have a lot of hair, facial hair though, like me. Ow, ow, ow. not bad the only thing I would say is why do you need to tape if you can just basically place the product but it could be helpful for beginners like I said I think these these techniques are more best for like beginners who are not really sure what they're doing or where to place the product I think that would be best for them but personally I wouldn't do this because I just feel like it's so much hassle and also if I'm wearing like foundation under like some areas there's no like it would like take the foundation off and some areas it was just like there was nothing I don't know I don't know I'll give this one a thumbs up it's not ridiculous or anything it gave me a really nice sharp contour the next beauty hack that I've seen is to use post-it notes or I'm just gonna use these sticky kind of things to act as like guards so what I'm just doing is uh, folding the edge of it and then you just stick it onto your eye I guess and just keep <laughs> that's actually not bad to be honest that's actually really worked well because if I take the, the paper off I don't know if you guys can see but there's like a lot of tiny fallout so that actually definitely works because there's a lot of fallout on there and it actually shields really well. Please mind my eyeshadow. <laughs> so the next hack that I've seen is to use eyeshadow to set your lipstick. So if it's like a shiny lipstick, just take an eyeshadow and pack it on the lipstick and it'll make it go matte. So I'm just going to take a really glossy lipstick that I have. I'm going to take just Estee Lauder one. It's obviously too light for my skin tone. This is a very poor application. Then I'm going to take some pink eyeshadow. I'm just going to use this dark pink eyeshadow because I haven't got a light pink colour. Ooh, that one is good actually. That's like completely matte. Like a soft matte lip. And you don't even need to apply it, you can just mix it in with the lipstick and it'll just go thicker and matte. So I'm definitely going to give this a big thumbs up because this one actually works really well. I've seen, obviously I've done like using translucent powder or loose powder to set my lipstick to make it matte. But using eyeshadow you can actually control the colour and the pigmentation of it and also make it matte. So really really liking this technique and I actually might use it more often because you can get like more lip options, like more lip colours with this hack so another beauty hack that I've seen is you know how you like put mascara on and like how you know like even me I get it all over my nose and my lid as well like if you apparently let it dry it literally just flicks off so I'm just gonna do like a couple spots oh those are really big though so I'm just gonna do like a tiny one there so I'm gonna let that dry and we'll see if it peels off. So as I'm waiting for my mascara to dry out, I'm gonna try the boob contouring thing because this is the last beauty hack I wanted to try. And as you can see, I haven't got that much boobage going on here, okay? So I wanna see if I can get like, do you know, some boobage. Again, I'm just gonna use my Makeup Forever contour palette. I'm so excited for this. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Why does it look square for me? See, that one looks better. 
This one looks too square. Ooh, let's see if this is going to work. So as you can see, I haven't really got that much um, collarbone action going because I obviously put a bit of weight on. So it kind of disappeared. So we're going to pretend to have some. My mum walks in on me like this, she's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, I think contouring wise that's fine. Now I'm just going to highlight those areas. bit more boobs. I don't know. I'm not too sure about this one. I'm not really one to show my boobs. Like I don't really wear like low tops. Only sometimes when it's like really hot. But you can definitely make them look bigger with this technique to be honest. And my I like the collarbones though. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. I also forgot to do the mascara. So let's see if it flicks off. It might be the mascara that I'm using, but it's definitely not working. It's not like flicking off at all. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. And if you want me to test more beauty makeup hacks, let me know in the comments below and I'll do another video testing some more because there's so many out there and I needed a few of them. I had so much fun filming this video and trying out all these techniques and some of them actually worked really, really well. My favorite was the lipstick and Oh yeah, the lipstick and the shield guards. That's actually really, really cool. Like, it catches everything. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.